You won't believe this, but somebody randomly gave me their tickets so that I can get in here. Oh my gosh, all right, so you guys get to see her off after all. And look at the seats I got too, this is wicked. Oh, this day is so good for me right now. You guys like that I was very shocked that I would actually be able to get tickets to Nadal session and the night session I'm feeling really uh, I don't know this is this is unbelievable for me right now so I'm, I'm just gonna live it up for as long as possible all right so for all those tuning in this is a proper introduction of day two of the Miami Open for 2017 there's a lot of cool stuff going on here. Like I showed you before, there's a couple of people. I think it's mostly the ball kids that are having fun over here. And if you can, you have enough money, you would have paid already to be in this collector's club. You need, it's like VIP, you need to be special, important people to be able to get these seats. But it seems like there's a lot more people here than yesterday. A whole lot more people here than yesterday. People for the video. Hey, state your name. Hey, you guys want to give any shout outs, whatever. Hey, Diesel125 on Instagram. Real <laughs> fun. I love you, Tias. Hey, Miami Open 2017, guys. Woo! Okay, one quick thing. I was approached by two other people that I met yesterday that also were gonna give me another ticket. Liter literally, just get here that's it just getting in the gate is the biggest the the hardest thing then you probably will just have random people just pass you out tickets I've gotten two tickets today two you guys know I paid money to get my seats and I was gonna be content with it but I don't think this is something people know is that just getting here you have so many opportunities maybe you might get surprised you might be able to get free tickets. You might be able to get 100 level seats. Every ticket I got was a 100 level. So I don't, I don't know if uh, this can get any better. I mean, I'm satisfied. The next match that's coming up is Simona Halep. And then after that is Jack Sock. I, oh, wait. Oh, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Simona Halep is on main court. I have tickets to that match. Let's let's go. Okay, I just want to point out what is with this outrageously long line? No. Where am I? Section I'm C row A4. Thank you, Lacoste. I just wanna thank those people who did that for me. And also 
the guys who gave me these tickets for the day session. The first name that comes here is Ed. So Ed, thank you. You made my day and you made my whole experience what it was. I am enjoying myself and I just want you to know that and I'm very thankful. Like these matches are going really fast. We've been here for what over 52 minutes, but it feels like less than five. I mean, you watch it on TV and it sounds like it's taking a while. Hey! Well, for everybody that wanted it again and you wanted to hear me speak in an English accent, you're gonna get it for the rest of the night. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Jerry has become an utter disappointment for me and everybody in this stadium. Everybody look at Jerry. I'm trying to give him fans tonight, but he needs to do his part and play some good tennis. He's got one more set left, but if he really proves to be the biggest disappointment I have ever seen in my life. Jerry lost. I did try and root for him as much as I could. 
I had a great audience. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Hey! Sorry? Okay, um, I do it from a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. If you do like YouTube videos, I have another one. Okay, hey, we've got more people for the video. Nice. Okay. All right. So if you can, just say, let everybody know to subscribe to Racket Comedy. Subscribe to Racket Comedy. All right, we support Jerry. Bye. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Hey, a quick question, if you were watching the Jack Sock match, yeah. love your You're all one dancing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. See, this is what happens when you use the British accent. I should have been doing this from the longest time already. Alright, alright, alright. Hey! Hey, hey we got more people. Barcarte! <laughs> Enjoy yourself, because you don't know when you might get another chance to be in a nice venue such as this one. Well, this will conclude the end of the Miami Open for me anyway. It's only Sunday. There's still a lot, a whole week left of tennis, but for me, this will be the end. I don't have anybody else that's giving me free tickets. And I have school tomorrow and work. So if you do like these videos, let me know. I will continue to try and make more of them if you like the vlogs. Subscribe to my YouTube if you do like it. No more talking. This is the end of the vlog. Good night, everybody, from the Miami Open 2017. All right, I don't know how this keeps happening, but I yet again went to the Lacoste. I got another hat and I don't think you can believe it at this point, but I got another ticket. <laughs> I got another ticket to day three. They have made my day to an extraordinary amount, and I, I just can't put into words how thankful I am. I've never been to the Miami Open, and the people at Lacoste, have literally made that dream come true for me. It literally felt like this was my last day. I got I got another day with Federer. I got a date with Federer tomorrow. So I'm really happy. You guys get more videos. Hey, I mean if if that's what you like, then it is here. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to hurry up and get home. And, and get ready for tomorrow with my new hat. <laughs> All right, so see you later.